I must be quick now. Our time grows short. Very, very soon your soul will enter the Shadowlands and travel to the Tuat. And there it will be confronted by the judges of Matt, who will see whether you are worthy of the resurrection and of the honour of being one of us. It would be most improper for me to tell you what to say to the judges. I can, however, talk about Matt, about balance, in an abstract, philosophical sense. So what is it? It is balance. It is avoiding extremes. It is stability. I know it is not the way of the modern world, where there are causes that one must strive for, one must do this, victory for this, removal of oppression. Yes, we will contribute to the removal of oppression, but we will not do that in the name of change. We will do that in the name of stability. Those who clamour for change are those who have never seen their lands destroyed by war, who have not appreciated how important stability can be for anything else that is good. So, there is good. There is also the maintenance of bad systems. A dictator who brings stability is to be much preferred to anarchy. And hopefully the dictator may be pushed in the right direction. Stability, prosperity, worthiness, them and their country may flourish. If they turn too rapacious and too cruel, we will remove them in the name of Matt, in the name of balance. As the world is now unbalanced towards what is wrong, as it has ever been, Matt is on the side of good. But only incidentally, do not confuse it with good. And there are many paths to achieve balance, many roads, a huge amount of philosophical discussions, all the most fascinating one than the other. So don't pretend. Don't just say what you think the judges want you to say. Say, think first, then say what you truly mean. How can you serve stability and how can stability serve the common good? For you are going to be given a huge responsibility. Your failed life is over. You are be given another one. Make the most of it. You have to make the most of it. And then finally, I shouldn't be talking about this, but if I can't talk to soon to be mummy who can i talk to there is the question of serving osiris serving horus and serving matt their interests generally align but not perfectly horus is much more of a living god osiris is a god amongst the dead they have divergent views matt balance the philosophical concept is divergent from them as well. So, if it comes down to it, who will you choose? And can you justify, for example, going against Matt, serving Osiris, thinking that over the long term, this will serve balance better? These are the questions and the debates that you must ask yourself. And then, you must think of our enemies, Apophis, the incarnation of corruption. I don't believe in his existence. It is a metaphor, a sign of the corruption in the world that we must struggle against. Believe me, if there was a corrupter, he would be too disorganized to make any, to make any path against us. Oh yes, there are Bane mummies, you'll encounter them evil mummies, enemies. There are many of that type. There are corrupted beings, but this comes from inside and from other sources, not from some grand 
destructive force. After all, who would want to be corrupter when you could be ruler? Those who want to rule the world, there are so many. Those who want to corrupt the world? What's the interest in that? Set, on the other hand, is definitely a live enemy, and I've seen some of his undead servants. You'll encounter these joyful people at some point. Their only redeeming feature is that they also want to engage in interminable philosophical discussions, and that when they feed from you, they are touched by the memory of the humanity they once were. We are, as I said, humans and more than humans. We are alive and more than alive, and we will show the undead what it is to be truly living. In any case, good luck there on your voyage, and I hope that you will return amongst us.